Hello friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. This is my fourth lecture on neuromuscular transmission and I am going to discuss the postsynaptic blockage. The substance causing the postsynaptic blockage are divided into two categories. First is competitive blockers and another category is depolarizing blockers competitive blockers are basically chemicals or substances that compete with acetylcholine molecules and combine with ACHR that is these chemicals compete with ACH and combine with ACHR that is they prevent the ACH from combining with ACHR and important thing is that without opening ACHR. It means that these lack the biological activity of such blockers lack the biological activity of ACH. So they will not produce any contraction or any depolarization in the motor end plate and as a result muscle may be highly relaxed or it may be paralyzed now examples in examples courier is there courier is obtained from from a plant stichrus toxifera It is used as arrowhead poison for hunting in South America. When it enters the body of an animal, it paralyzes. Another example is Galamin. Galamin is given as a skeletal muscle relaxant to the patients before operation. Or surgery. Now the next group is of depolarizing blockers. Depolarizing blockers may involve competitive molecules. These competitive molecules will compete with ACH and bind with ACHR these have biological properties or physiological properties of ACH that is they will open the ACHR These will open the ACHR producing the depolarization. But very important thing which creates the difference is that these are not hydrolyzed by 
it means that when such molecules will combine with ACHR, this channel will remain open, cations will move inside, depolarization will occur and the effect will be prolonged. Such examples are succinylcholine and carbamylcholine. These are the competitive molecules. Another category of depolarization blockers is reversible ACHE that is acetylcholine esterase inhibitors. Such molecules will compete with ACH to combine with acetylcholine esterase. So such inhibitors compete with ACH to combine with acetylcholine esterase enzyme. This will prevent the hydrolysis of acetylcholine because of which acetylcholine will remain in the synaptic clap and ACH will bind with ACHR producing depolarization or depolarization block. Examples of such chemicals or inhibitors are Neostigmin and Phytostigmin. These are used in Myasthenia Gravis for improvement. Courier can also be given to reverse the conditions. Another category is of irreversible acetylcholine esterase blockers. Such blockers will permanently bind with ACHE and will make the ACHE unavailable for hydrolysis of ACH. So this condition is irreversible and it may paralyze and cause death if the respiratory muscles are involved. So examples of such blockers are organophosphates like melathion, parathion and bagon. Another example is of nerve gas. This include serine and DFP. DFP is di isopropyl fluorophosphate. So these Irreversible acetylcholine esterase blockers will lead to death because of asphyxiation. So these are the examples of postsynaptic blockage. Hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.